Good. Good. Hello, sir. Hello, Venable, sir. Hello, Venable, sir. Nice. How, how old is CC? She recently turned six about a month, uh, or two months ago. I see. Well, okay. Well, if CC wants to join, she can join the first grade next year in February. Like join, like okay. I'll explain after. Okay. Nice. So let's start by um, by the precepts, so everybody can unmute. No, she be Yamaham today is Sri Lanka pronunciation Yamaham Badami Dangvadeta Aham Bhante Aham Bhante Tisarane Nasaha Tisarane Nasaha Panchasilam Panchasilam Dhamman Yajami Dhamman Yajami Anugahan Katwa Anugahan Katwa Silam Deta Silam Deta Nebante Nebante Anukampan Anukampan Upadaya Upadaya Dutiyampi Ahampante Duty and Pia 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 Silam Bhante 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 Anukampan Upadaya Anukampan Upadaya Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sambuddhassa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi saṅghaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Dutiyampi buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Dutiyampi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Dutiyampi saṅghaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyampi buddhaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyampi dhammaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Tatiyampi saṅghaṃ saranaṃ gacchāmi Sarana Gamanam Paripunam So, Zui, what is the first precept? Oh, no, can I? Panati pata vera manisikha padang samadhyami Panati pata vera manisikha padang samadhyami Emily, what is the second precept? No stealing Adinna dana vera manisikha padang samadhyami 
Adina dan Adina Valentina, what is the third precept? No sexual misconduct. Game sumikcha jara vera manisikha padang samadhyami. Tenza, what is the fourth precept? I cannot I cannot hear you at all. Did you ask me or uh yeah, I'm asking Tenza. Can you come closer to the camera actually? Alcohol. Uh, the fourth precept? No drugs or alcohol. No. So, Andre, can you help Tenza? Uh, no lying. No doing lies. Tenza, do you agree? Okay. So, Tenza, what is the fourth precept? No lying. No telling lies. Mosa vada vera manisika padang samadhyami. Mosa vada So, May, what is the fifth precept? No alcohol or drugs. Sura me raya macha pamada tana vera manisika padang samadhyami. Surakya Sadhana Sadhana Mang Sadhukang Surakitan Katva Apamadina Sampadita. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be successful in everything you do. Okay, so So I will be sharing with you my screen.
So we'll start with 100, and then 38. So Andre, you can start. So once there was a farmer who was grieving because his son died, but the Buddha told that he should not be because all all beings will submit to death. He told a story of the past where he was a wild wise man who told his family that death is perfectly normal. When his son died, no one was sad, yet no one was happy. Everyone was mutual, so Saka tested them and they all replied the same thing. Why be sad? Saka was impressed and gifted them riches. Hmm. Okay, how did Saka test them? Uh, he um he asked them like questions like why are you not sad and uh, and everyone probably they loved him but they said that why you, they shouldn't be, they said that they shouldn't be sad because everyone's gonna die at some point. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about this picture? Why did you choose to write these houses? Uh, because it's like a barn. They live on a farm, so I decided to draw a barn. Okay, very nice, very well. Farm. They're farm people. Yeah, that's good. Like, yeah. So, uh, this uh, also has 138. Oh, that's from previous time. So, let's listen to Tenza's version. Yes, ready? About 138, the word out skin. Once the Buddha told a story of a landowner in the past who lost his son. Once the farmer and his son were working in the field and the son got bitten by a snake. The father rushed over, but his son was already dead. The father, wait, he asked his neighbor to tell his family to make one lunch, wear clean clothes, and bring flowers and in. In in sense. When they got there, they never shed a single tear. And Saka came down and asked them why they didn't shed. They didn't. They didn't each shed a single tear. They all answered why, and Saka was pleased with their answers. He, he gave them treasure, and returned to his throne. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So. Uh, can you tell us what did you draw here? Um, basically, they're all just standing there around the dead person, and just and not say and not saying anything. <laughs> okay, okay, that's nice. Thank you. All right. So next, let's see summary of Emily. Yeah. It's okay. You have written it at the end and it's fine. If you anywhere if you write it in the end or at the beginning, it's always okay. And when you're reading the summary, please start with the Jataka number, Jataka name, and then please continue with the, with the text. <clears throat> Jataka 139, to level the earth. Once Venerable Sariputta told hunters or fishers to follow the five precepts, and since they dare not to disobey, they followed them. But when they got home, they broke them. And then one of Venerable Sariputta's students told him to, <clears throat> to not force people to follow the five precepts. And when the Buddha found out, he told a story of the past. One day, a teacher and some students went to a cave. One of the students 
was throwing rocks into a cave. The teacher thought he was crazy, so he went to go talk to him. The student asked the teacher why not, and then there the teacher realized why to tell people to follow the five precepts if they are willing to. The end. I see. Okay, so uh, yes, indeed, some people uh, do not appreciate uh, when they have to take five precepts. And um, so there is this idea that monks should not force them. So in Buddhism, we have uh, this habit that always lay like, people need to request that we give them the precepts so that we are sure that the lay people actually really want to take those precepts. Um, but you may like to know that according to the deeper teachings of the Buddha, if you force somebody to do something good, it is actually all right. And the action done be, by being forced is also still a good action. Forcing the other person to do good action is also a good action. But it may um, harm your relationship with the person. So they may do what you want, but then they may be angry with you and they may not be speaking with you. And so it is a little more difficult. It's better not to force and be kind and be patient and then gradually maintaining the friendship being you yourself, being the exemplary person, gradually inspire the other person to follow those five precepts, be a good person, and still maintain your friendship. <clears throat> okay. And then, Tiri. Once a teacher tried to teach every on the five precepts. One time, the Bodhisattva's teacher tried to teach those who won't listen. At an area donating cake, the Bodhisattva threw stones in the cave nearby. He told his teacher he wanted the earth to be as smooth as his palm. When he was told not to fill the cave, the Bodhisattva explained and he, he could not make all listen. Donating cake? He would like give them cakes for following the five precepts for taking them? No, it was just an area. Uh -huh. I believe something like a ceremony, I'm not sure. It wasn't a ceremony. Can you explain what should be as smooth as his palm and how is it related to uh, make other people to listen? He wanted the earth to be as smooth as his palm and he was told not to fill the cave because he knew he couldn't do it. Like that, the teacher could not do it to make everyone listen to his teachings perfectly. I see. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. So let's continue with Valentina. My story was actually 142. So, is the number wrong? That uh, 140 was the one that I did last week. Oh, that's something you read previ previously. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I remember, I remember. 
So let's continue with May 103, 143. Ready. A king and a queen had a son. No, 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 no. You need to read the number and the name of the Jataka. You forgot to write it, right? You always need to write the Jataka number and the name uh, and also your name. Okay. So it is the eternal law of peace. So can you read it for us? So the number. Jataka the name of the 100. Jata, Jataka 143. The eternal peace by May. Hmm. A king and queen had a son named. Dighavu. 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 Mm -hmm. When he was older, his parents got arrested and decide and he decided to go visit them. His dad saw him and told Dighavu to not be far-sighted or near-sighted. The crowd was puzzled and asked if he has gone crazy. When the soldiers came, they killed his parents. A few days later. The prince went to the king's elephant stable and asked to learn the crap. And the Maho said, sure. One night, the prince was singing and the king heard. The prince got brought to the king and the king asked him to serve the palace. One day, they went hunting. And after they had ridden for a while, the king became tired, so they rested. The prince then thought that since the king killed his parents, he should kill the king. But he remembered what had his dad said and didn't. When the king woke up, the prince told the king what he wanted to do. The king went to the court and asked, If you saw the son of King De... Dighiti? Doesn't sound Dig right. He... Isn't that the Dighavu? So I, I see that's somebody else. So we'll probably have to check that. Dighiti. Dighiti ko sala. Dighiti. Okay, so there is a very important teaching which uh, doesn't seem to be included in your note. So, not only that uh, there was this, uh, fa yes, the king asked the, the soldiers not to kill uh, Dighavu, and um, uh, Dighavu, however, then ha had to explain why did his dad told him not to be farsighted or nearsighted. All right, so that's a very important point. Don't be nearsighted means do not be be too quick to break with a friend. All right, so uh, do not 
uh, break your relationship with a friend whenever he does something that's not right. Vengeance is settled through non-vengeance. All right. So, uh, or in other way, in other way, uh, conflict is solved by love. So anger, or when somebody is angry with you, uh, you can resolve that by being kind to them, by wishing them that they are successful and happy. Um, then. Vengeance, hatred, and killing would go on endlessly, endlessly. But by swearing friendship, you have given me my life, and I have given you your life. And then the king Brahmadatta restored the, to Prince Dikavu the entire kingdom of Gosala. So he gave them back. Previously he seized them, he fought and seized them, and then he gave them back. And he offered his daughter uh, in marriage to the, uh, to the Prince D. Kavu. And the Buddha was the Prince D. Kavu. So what's in the picture? Um, so Prince Dikavu pulled out a sword and wanted to kill the king while he was sleeping. I see, so he's sleeping. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you. So then we have ten seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. It took out one hundred and forty four. Mount Nuru. Once some lay people saw a monk and said they would help take care of his needs, but soon forgot him. The monk went back to the Buddha and told him what happened. The Buddha then told a story of the past about two golden goose that landed on Mount Nuru, which every animal was gold, but all were equally clever and dull, so, and so they left. So they were actually not equally clever or dull. They were equally gold, but some of them were uh, some of them were evil, some of them were nice. So you would have their uh, nice animals that do not harm anyone and you would have them uh, their animals who harm, be, uh, harm others. You would have their animals that deceive other animals and animals that are rather trustworthy. So um, all of those animals, however, were golden. That means they were all elevated, they were all assumed to be very uh, nice and very noble. So uh, the Buddha-to-be explains that this is not a good place to be because you then do not know who, who's right and who's wrong and nobody appreciates rightness and nobody you know, censures, nobody uh, blames uh, for, uh, for evil. So this is not a good place to be. And it's very important in Buddhism. In Buddhism, this Nehru Jataka is very important. I would like to encourage everybody to read 144. So uh, in this case, it's the real number is actually 379. Okay, be careful. This is the number in your book, but the real number, the real historical number is 397. So, um, this is very important because the Buddha suggests that we actually do not uh, praise all religions as the same. It's a modern idea that all religions are the same, but we do not accept that in Buddhism. In Buddhism, we, uh, we believe that some religions are more noble and some religions are less noble. So, for example, religion that encourage you uh, that encourages you to kill, 
to steal is less noble than a religion like Buddhism that discourages you from killing or stealing is more noble. The Buddha suggests that we distinguish them. So that's the meaning of this Jataka. It's very important. The merit of the virtuous. One time, a bhikkhu gave, gave his alms to his parents. Then the Buddha told a story of the past. Once the king loved to hunt, and everyone was disturbed. They made a specific area, meaning the bodhisattva, a deer, knew his parents could not get in the area and trick the people. And when it was his turn to die, he thought of loving kindness, and the king spared all the animals in the kingdom from slaughter. That reminds me of a different Jataka. I don't know why the ant two is there. I'm assuming it was a typing error. It's this one. Sure. Is this the correct one? Yeah, it's very important uh, for for monks. We then therefore know that it's good to donate to our parents. I see, and then the Buddha explains that. In a past life, this uh, venerable Nandiya also uh, took care of his father and mother. That was when, when he was kept in the in the place for for the deers, for the king. Mm -hmm. Want to go eat that? Okay. I'll be back. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. Venerable okay. sir. That's nice. Yes. Um. Lisa wants to know if she can eat an apple during her class during this class. Sure. We had a story like this about deer a little bit, uh, little, uh, so, some time before this, right? Does anybody remember that? In that story, the Buddha to be was a golden deer, and he uh, offered, and he offered uh, his life for a pregnant deer. Do you remember that? Um, I have a story about a golden deer, but 
Oh, that must be it. Looks a little different. Did she? Uh, was she pregnant? Uh, I don't think so. So that's a different one. Unmuted, yeah. Oh, I think we have it in the first book. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I think we have that in the first book. Oh, that's the one, the pregnant doe, Jataka number 12, real Jataka number 12, and here you have 142, uh, which is not really the same, and then we have 145, right? Or what was that? Yes, that's right, 145. So let's note it down here. The pregnant doe. Okay, nice. So let's continue. Yamona, hundred and forty. Oh, that's so long. Um, what about to write it a little short? Do we have Yamona today? We do not have Yamona. I see, okay. Oh, this is so long. I feel like we really cannot accept this kind of so long story. So long. So, try to please avoid uh, writing too long, like this one, wow, that's so long. Uh, then I will ask you to write it again, okay? So then you did not spend your time very usefully. Do we have Zoe today? Yes. Okay, so just a moment, I'll do the attendance right away. Oh, 
so I have actually skipped Valentina. So let, let's go back to Valentina. Did you already read it? Me? Have you already? Oh, wow. Uh, I think we did not read it, right? Or have we already read it? We haven't, right? Uh, you did not read 142 today, right? Or did you? Uh, yeah, I did. You, you read it today? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. read your summary today? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember about this magic jewel which can support the fa hunter's family. Are you sure you read it, Valentina, today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Could it have been the other one, possibly? Sorry? I think that maybe she read the other one before and it's possible she could be I, no, I remember I remember her reading 142, but not like not today, I mean like before. Because I remember the last line where they gave a magical jewel. Okay. Okay, very well. But wasn't that Zui reading it uh, yeah. last week? That was Zui yeah. last time. Last time I read 140, 140. Yeah, I think you didn't read 142 today yet, right? Well, I, did not. I did. You did? Okay. All right, very well. So let's continue. Zui, we are ready. Okay, always please uh, add it in the text and also please add it in the picture. In the oh, picture. It's kind of right there. It's kind of right Oh, there the it is. I see, it's there. Yeah. Sutana and the Royal Regalia. All right. Uh, always please add it in the picture as well as in the text. Yes. Dataka 147. Sutana and the Royal Regalia. In ancient Baranasi, King Brahmadatta, an, an avid hunter, sought to chase a deer. After a fierce chase, the king finally captured the deer, but was exhausted. While resting under a tree, he was confronted by the fearsome god Makadeva, who desired to devour him. To escape this fate, the king offered the deer as a sacrifice and promised the son rice daily to appease Makadeva. Eventually, the king ran out of prisoners to sacrifice, prompting his advisor to offer a reward of 1,000 points for anyone brave enough to venture into the forest with the bowl of rice. Sutana, a man working to support his family, accepted the challenge and received royal items from the king. Unafraid, Sutana cleverly avoided Makadeva's Maka threat by not touching the grass and using the royal umbrella shade. Realizing Sutana's wits, Makadeva let him go. Sutana, however, persuaded Makadeva to follow him to the city gate for more rest. In the end, it was it is revealed that Sutana was the Buddha in this tale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Very good. Yes, this is a very interesting uh, story. I remember that. All right. So, is that all? Did I forget anybody or anything? Let me see. 
Somehow I totally don't remember that story. Me remind myself. 160 years. Can you see we get actually the jewel the same in the story and, and uh, in from Valentin as well. Okay, okay, very well. Very nice. Thank you, everybody. So, uh, Denza, are your uh, brother and sister coming? They can't make it. They can make it. So, if they can make it, I think we will, again, not have the class for the teenagers, because then we, don't, we are not enough people. How many classes did we lose this way already? This is the second class we have lost. All right, do you think that next week they can come? Yes. All right. So let's move on to chanting Okata. I see we can chant Okata and we can meditate together as well. So the, the class will be a little longer. So I would like to ask everybody to unmute. way also if you like you can unmute and you can keep your hands together at the chest and repeat after me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me in order that all of the faults sub badosa Done by body kaya kamma, speech vachi kamma. Or mind mano kamma disappear. Or mind mano kamma disappear. For the first time, for the second time, for the third time, patamaduti atatiya. For the first time, for the second time, for the third time, completing three times, I respectfully and humbly. Pay respect and worship the jewel of Buddha. The jewel of Dhamma, the teachings, the jewel of Dhamma, the Dhamma the teaching. and the jewel of Sangha, the community of monks, and the jewel of Sangha, the community of monks, the three jewels, venerable sir, the three jewels, venerable sir. Due to the intentional action, Kamma Chetana, and the goodness of paying respect. 
May I be liberated and free from all? May I be liberated and free from all? May I be liberated from all? Four realms of woe, three periods of disaster, eight from destinations. Four realms of woe, three periods of disaster, eight from destinations. Five enemies, four disasters, five kinds of detriment. Five enemies, four disasters, six kinds of detriment. Ninety-six kinds of disease, sixty-two wrong views. And I want to achieve the peace of Pan. And I want to achieve the peace of Pan. Fruition, the noble Nibbana, venerable sir. Fruition, the noble Nibbana, venerable sir. Very well. So now let's try it out in Burmese. Does CC know any Burmese? Yes, CC. CC, do you know Burmese? Um, no. No. Not at all? At least Mangalaba? Do you know what is Mangalaba? No. No idea? Okay. So that's the way it is. So uh, here again, repetition. This is ka. All right. So we have ka in o ka ta. O ka ta. Ka ya kan, wasi kan, mano kan. Then we have it later here in when the ka, you know, it has around this uh, uh, this little circle, not circular circle. It is uh, it becomes ja. So this still is ka though, and uh, then we have ka again. Uh, where is it in ka? Can. So this is again ka here, and again ka, and again ka, ka. So ka is very often used, all right, in Burmese. And we have ta. Ta is not so common in here, but we can see it in du te ya, ta te ya, te jeng, then ya te na, all right. We can see it setana, kedo. Then we have uh, double, wipati, and then again daya. And uh, that's pretty good. If you can know ka and ta, that's a very good start. So you can re repeat after me. O gata, o gata, o gata. O gata, o gata, o gata. Kaya kan, wasi kan, mano kan. Kaya kan, wasi kan, mano kan. Kaya ยาวปาสิเชนอจุงาปัทธมาดุติยาตติยาปัทธมาดุติยาตติยาตติยาตติเจนเนเจนตงเจนญาวอาเนเจนตงเนเจนตงเนญาวอาเสียยะตนาต
ยะปิชิปะยะตุมโยโกเซชาวปะนามโยเกโกเซชาวปะเมษะเตถิชาวเซนะปะเมษะเตถิชาวเซนะปะโดมะโดมะอะคาคะเตอะคาคะเตเก
muscles and flesh throughout the head to be heavy and changing. Continue to the neck, shoulders, arms, elbows. Fingers, tips of fingers, chest, abdomen, back. And we allow all of the muscles and flesh throughout the upper part of the body to be heavy and changing. Continue to the buttocks, thighs, knees, calves, heels. Tips of toes and the toes. We allow all of the muscles and flesh throughout the body to be heavy and changing. Enjoy this happiness. We enjoy this peace.
And now we can share our peace with other living beings. May all beings in this room be in peace. May all beings in this building be in peace. May all beings in this city or village be in peace. May all beings in this country be in peace. Make sure your back is erect and side cast down. May all beings on this planet be in peace. May all beings, including me, be in peace. Now, because the time for this sitting is finished, let's make the last determination in our minds voicelessly. From now on, I will always be calm. From now on, I will always be calm. From now on, I will always be calm. And with that determination, we can slowly, mindfully change the way of our sitting. And we can take one more minute to enjoy the peace we gained in meditation.
very well. So as you could see, Tiri, the fact that you can meditate 15 minutes, and this was just 10 minutes, is amazing. It's not something everybody can do. Very special. And Tiri, maybe you remember there were times when you had difficulties meditating. Three minutes, do you remember that? Two, three years ago? So the fact that you all can meditate like this, 15 minutes, is a big thing. It's a thing that not everybody can do, you know. When I start with the students at the first uh, first grade, uh, I first teach 10 breaths, not minutes, 10 breaths. That's all they have to do. Just sit down and meditate on 10 breaths and that's it. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and finish meditation. meditation. So now when you can do 15 minutes, that's great. Not everybody can do that. Even adults. Many adults cannot do 15, 15 minutes. They cannot do even 5. So as you can see, this is very, very big achievement. So I would like to encourage you everyone to make use of this achievement and meditate every day so that your mind is calm, peaceful, clear, aware. And therefore your intelligence and your success is the highest. All right. With CC, CC will have to start from 10 breaths, not from 10 minutes. That's not suitable for her. I'm only visiting here for two sleeps. I know, but you're moving closer soon, and you can still join up to from your house yeah. with your You can mom's. definitely join us, but I don't think this is a class good for, uh, for CC. It's as if I asked uh, Tiri to follow uh, a PhD degree in mathematics. Would you enjoy that? Probably not. So, uh, so something like that. For CC, it's something interesting, curious, but after some time it will be boring because she will not be able to catch up. I'd suggest that CC uh, starts with others in February next year. So. Yeah, February next year you'll be old enough. Even though you're old enough now, we still need to. I believe we need to finish. The other course, correct? No, uh, next year uh, CC can start the first grade. I know, it's like before next year you need to finish finish this year's first grade, correct? Is what I'm trying to say. Is, I see. This the first grade starts in February next year. Yes. So CC yeah. needs to wait some time, okay? It's about five okay. months away. All right, okay. so thank you everybody for coming. It was a pleasure to see you. And uh, see you again next week. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you be successful in everything you do. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.